Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I'm going to talk about one interesting application of extended Euclidean algorithm, in particular to how to solve a system of congruences. And you would like to know what value shall I fill in so that those two constraints that you're seeing are satisfied. Uh, what, what kind of X we are talking about this? X must be some multiple of nine plus two, right? So let's say nine Y plus two and Y is some integer, okay? It can be negative also, all right? So X is basically nine times Y plus two. That's the meaning of X congruent to two more nine. So uh, we can now go ahead and substitute that X into the second one, right? So we can now simplify this using basic model arithmetic concept. Uh, we will get uh, one mod seven. Okay, now comes the extended Euclidean algorithm. The fact that two and seven are relatively prime, right? We can find an inverse of Y. Okay, so now let's assume I'm doing extended Euclidean algorithm under the hood. And uh, in this case, it's extremely simple. If you just look at it, two times four is eight. Eight is congruent to one mod seven. So Y must be uh, congruent to four mod seven. Okay, that's the meaning for the inverse anyways. If, let's say y is four, four into two is eight, eight is congruent to one mod seven. Let's add seven to eight, so y becomes 11. 11 into two, 22. 22 is also congruent to one mod seven. So and now we can uh, rewrite this again. What is the meaning of y is congruent to four mod seven? This means y must be seven times some number, let's call it z. Z is again an integer, uh, plus four, right? That's the meaning of congruence anyways. Okay, and now uh, we can go back to X here because our goal is to find X, right? So we can rewrite the X as follows. We can see here that the solution is nothing but what is the meaning of this in terms of congruence? We can rewrite it as X is congruent to 38, right? Mod 63. Okay, so you can check for yourself. If, what if X is 38? Okay, let me finish this first. Uh, take the X to be 38 and substitute here. 38 is clearly 2 mod 9 because 38, when you divide it by 9, you get 2 as a reminder. And 38 is 3 mod 7 as well. You can keep adding 63 to it. If you add 63 to it, it won't change the answer because 9 and 7 both divide 63. Okay, I've used some interesting concepts of extended Euclidean algorithm here at this point. Given 2 times y, I need to find a y such that 2 times y is 1 mod 7. Okay, here I use the extended Euclidean algorithm. If you are writing a computer program, you will be calling extended Euclidean algorithm here. Okay, but the fact is that you can find a solution, but the solution involves 63. And if you look at nine times seven, it is also 63, which is going to help us to generalize this into a more formal theorem for a system of congruences. Okay, X is congruent to two mod nine, X is congruent to three mod seven. We just rewrite X in terms of Y, just by applying the definition of congruence. And then we substitute that new X into the next congruence. That means we can simplify it into another congruence just involving Y. And of course, it, to resolve the congruence, we introduce another variable. So Y becomes dependent on Z now, Z is another integer. So now we go back and use this uh, whole thing here. That's what we did. And we can see here, our X is just dependent on Z. There's no Y here, of course, and 38. By definition of congruence, this means X is congruent to 38 mod 63. We get a solution, not only one solution, but a system of solutions, right? Or a list of solutions. Uh, what is the next solution? You can add a 63 to it. You can add a 126 to it. Okay, 38 plus 126 is another solution. So all multiples of 63 will fit in. Basically, all equivalence classes of 38. That's all. Thank you very much for your attention.